allow record deletion in import profiles. Okay, so here's another one uh, about import that has to do with import profiles. Um, sometimes we can receive a vendor import file that contains some records which need to be deleted. Um, I've heard of some examples. It could be if you have bib records with no inventory. And in this case, we are going to have vendor import uh, files that have um, that are marked for deletion. The scenario I, run, I want to run is as follows. We're going to do first a regular import of two records. Then we're going to run the same import, but we're going to change one parameter in the import file uh, that will mark these records for deletion, and we'll see that the uh, records are indeed deleted. So let's start again by taking a look at our import file. We have here two records. And I guess the important thing to note here is, right, this position, I believe it's index position number five, right, we start from zero, is an N. That means it's a new record. And we're first going to import it like this. We'll see that it imports. But later on, we'll see that if this is changed to a D, the record is marked for deletion. And if we configure the import profile to allow that, then Alma can delete the record under certain conditions, which we shall discuss very shortly. So first, let's begin by importing these bibs. Back to Alma. Configuration. Import profiles. Now, this one should be, I believe, in new order. Which one was it? Repository. Yeah, okay. Great. So I have here an import profile. And let's first just run it, regular import. And then we're going to take a look at how I've configured it before running the deletion. Run import on the file with the two big records. Add, sorry, okay, sorry, here we go, okay, so we have this one file, submit, and refresh, give it another refresh, great, the job ran successfully. And let's see our imported records. Hopefully there are two of them, okay? So we got this bib1 and bib2. And they've been imported successfully. And now let's see what happens if we mark them for del deletion. Um, just to make it interesting, we'll mark one for deletion and we'll leave the other one. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this first one, bib1 over here. I'm going to mark it for deletion. I'm going to put a little D here. So one of the records should be deleted. And now, go back. Back. And let's make sure that our import profile allows us to delete. Edit. Okay, here we go. Um, this little checkbox over here basically means that Alma will delete, allow deletion. Um, it should be noted that it will only delete records that do not have inventory. Um, so if the record has inventory and it's marked for dele deletion, it will not delete. But otherwise, we're pretty much good to go. So let's run this. Again, we're going to run the same file. Add. Great. Submit. And we're now running the job once again. 
and we're, how many records are we going to expect now? I've only marked one for deletion and not the other. So one should delete and the other should exist. Okay, great. It ran. I believe this is our job here. Imported records. And lo and behold, we have only one bib record, bib2. Bib1 was sadly deleted and is no longer with us. But its sacrifice was not in vain because we have now learned a new feature of import profiles. So that's it for allowing records for deletion in import profiles.